What's the hard part about the business? Is it like shelf life? Like what's what's the difficulty? Managing employees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. definitely employees. You know, it's it. Unfortunately, we're in that you know sort of retail employee turnstile where sure. it's really tough. Yeah, we're very lucky. A lot of our employees, for the most part, for hourly employees, they've been with us a lot of them for a while. Some, you know, there's always some turnover. You know, a certain percentage, but our bakers are just pretty steadfast and. You know, the front of the house only leaves when really they've gotten pregnant or married. Or, right, you there's know, always some, life there's changes that away. move them right. We have a really great mm-hmm. crew. We all just adore each other, and it's just good. I know we talked about this earlier, but, you know, as these places are reopening, we're being told the hard part is, like, finding employees all over Big again. Right. Because yeah. no one's incentive yes. to, incentivized to work. People are getting unemployment checks. Yep. Right. And so that's this is obviously impacting you guys. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that's been happening to us. Yes. What do you do? Cover front of the house. <laughs> so yeah, so we work some shifts, yeah. Front of the house, which is my favorite, not. I'd much <laughs> rather be in the kitchen. I would like to be in the kitchen creating. That's sort of my happy place. But yeah, I've just been covering front of the house while we're getting people trained up and looking for people. Yeah, what I'm finding is, and especially after talking to other people in the same boat, I'll post for the job. And normally I'll get tons of applicants and then I'll text them, hi so-and-so, thank you for your resume, this is Nancy Ponuts, are you available to jump on an interview call tomorrow at 3.30? And yes, absolutely. This past week, and this has never happened before, I kid you not, like a half dozen, I would respond pretty quickly after I'd received their email, crickets. Nobody responds. So they put in their application so they can, you know, when they fill out their they unemployment check form, yes. they check their, yeah, they check out the, check the box. Oh, yes, trail. I'm looking. Right. Yeah. right. I'm looking. Oh, okay. Are you? I don't know. Well, they don't have to. That's the problem with the system. They, they, all they right. have to do is like right. put a valiant attempt, which That's I would right. call just like a dusting. Yeah. You know, and then as long as they're yeah. checking a box saying, yeah, I, tr- yep. I tried. It's definitely gotten harder. You know, I have a few people now that are potentials. Yeah. But it, you know, it's taken, you know, a week longer than it normally might. I mean, we're just lucky we get people to to apply, but I see the difference even in our little world. Yeah. In West Hollywood, as I mentioned, like the Chamber of Commerce on the calls, this is the biggest thing that hotels are struggling with too. Like ballet employees, just restaurant employees, baristas. They can't seem to fill the seats as the hotels are getting way more off. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Meet people. Oh, I heard about one restaurant had to close for two weeks because they didn't have labor. Imagine after COVID, after everything, everything else. Now they have to close because yeah, wow. they can't find people looking for work who want to work. It's a combo of the unemployment checks and the stimulus and all of that. And a lot of people are going and following their passion. They're like, you know, why go yeah, back yeah. to that? You know, why, let short. me find a business that mm-hmm. I want to start or that I want to follow. And so apparently, a lot of people are going back to school. Right. And yeah, a lot of people, I have even noticed when I interview people, they've gone back to school. But I wonder if this is LA and the big cities because people have all left the big expensive cities and gone back to maybe where they were from or if this is happening all over the country. Well, people have moved out of the cities. Also, you know, I, I saw a statistic, a chart, and it looked legitimate that food service, whether it's cooks, bakers, servers, all of the food service and all the hospitality were in the top of COVID deaths per job occupation. So, you know, if they didn't move or go back to school, they died. 